legal factors. Okay, climate law is a law book, Kusatu serving the workforce from a legal perspective, labor practitioners, bargaining councils, ombudsmans, trade unions, these are all part of the legal system in a country. The legal system of a country can exert a profound influence on how business is conducted. Legislation affects marketing. Laws promoting competition, like the Competition Act, re prohibits restrictive trading practices, which means that a company must function according to the laws of that promote competition. They can't have a monopoly in areas. There's also laws limiting competition, in fact, like laws providing telecom and the post office with competition protection. No other company may start a um, landline telephone network in South Africa because there's an act which keeps telecom as the monopoly as well as ESCOM as the monopoly of electricity provision. And then of course there are laws protecting consumer rights like the Consumer Protection Act. There we go. Consumer Protection Act covering consumers. <laughs> Okay, it's the duty of marketing managers to understand the laws and to make sure that their company sticks to the laws. Failure to comply to the laws can have serious consequences for the form and you can't just say, oh, well, we didn't know. Not acceptable. Interestingly, because there's been laws that have come out that have banned people from using their cell phones while they're driving, there was, has been a need for these car kits. Right, as you can see them, car kits that you can attach your your devices to. So because of that legislation, there was a new need for products, which was a marketing opportunity for those companies that developed those. Okay, central government legislation. There's the Privacy and Protect Data Protection Act, the Tobacco Product Control Act, which keeps um, cigarettes and other tobacco products prohibition of advertisements and regulation of trade and commerce, production, supply and distribution. So there's a ban on advertising of tobacco products. The Competition Act, the Electronic Communications and Transaction Act and of course the National Credit Act which is enforced by the National Credit Regulator. Okay, so there's a lot of central government acts which uh, influences business. Then we have international agreements like with the World Trade Organization, the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, which has been signed by all the countries who are colored in blue. Can you see them? The ones in black have not signed the agreement. Uh, it's a World Trade Agreement, and it's aimed at increasing free trade. Right, So it's making sure that all those countries can trade easily with each other without lots of stupid laws in the way. There we go, limiting the role of trade barriers such as import duties, subsidies and tariff protections. All kinds of red tape keeping trade from happening effectively. Then we have the South African Dem Development Community, SADC. And it, that's, they've signed it also, all those Southern African countries. And it also is a way to increase trade between those countries. And three out of four of South Africa's trade is with SADC countries. Okay. 